Good afternoon, my name is Josiah Prock. Welcome to the 2018 UARC Home Facebook Live Tour of Founders Hall. A little bit about myself, I'm a junior from Russellville, Arkansas. I'm studying communication, minoring in political science. Uh, I hope to go to law school. And filming today is Courtney. I'll let her introduce herself. Hello, my name's Courtney. I'm a student here at the university. I'm going to be a sophomore this year and I'm a nursing major and I'm from Fayetteville. So if you need any Fayetteville help around with restaurants and fun places to hang out, you can just let me know. And y'all can ask us any questions today and I'll be behind the camera. So we'll try and answer those for you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Courtney. So one great thing about Founders is that it's located really conveniently in the middle of campus. We've actually got some great eating options um, connected to Founders. Right behind me is Slim Chickens. Um, they just have fried chicken, chicken tenders and fries. It's a really popular stop for all students on campus. We've also got Rocket Taco and Where the Wild Greens Are. Where the Wild Greens Are is a salad place. You basically build your own salad. It's one of my personal favorite mm -hmm, things about too. campus because it's a little bit healthier. And then Rocket Tacos, tacos, they've got good rice and beans. We've also got Starbucks behind us, which is always crowded. It's college, so you gotta have your coffee. And there's also Quiznos, and then Bruff Dining Hall is right above us. Um, and Bruff is the most centrally located dining hall. It has really good food, and I always enjoy it. Mm -hmm. We'll walk this way and talk a little bit about some of the classrooms that are close to Founders. Right behind us is Kimball Hall. It's the home to the journalism department as well as the communication department. And as you can see, they're doing a little bit of renovation and construction, just adding a journalism wing to Kimball. And then further this way, um, the Walton College of Business is also directly across from Founders. Um, that's where most of the business courses are located and all the advising and things like that. This is where the entrance to Rocket Taco and where the Wild Greens are. It's right behind us. So whenever you need a quick bike to eat, you can use your dining dollars and your flex and purchase food there. During weeknights, there's also a meal trade, which means you can use a dining swipe instead of using your dining dollars. Um, and that just saves a little bit of money. That's a great touch. So here's Kimple. You can see the new journalism wing. It's supposed to be state of the art. We're really excited about it here. This is where most of my classes are as a communication student. Here's the entrance to Founders Hall. You can see we have a little sign out front. Founders is our newest hall. It came online, I think, to 2014 or 15 or 13. Mm -hmm. One fun nickname that people have for Founders is Hotel Founders, just because how nice and, and clean looking it is. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and walk inside and take a look at the front desk and kitchen area. So you use your fob on your keys to get into the building, it's just for security. All right, so back behind me is the kitchen area. It's being used a little bit right now as you can see. Um, but you can actually rent cooking supplies um, from the RAs and if you ever have a sweet tooth, I'm sure there will be someone down here making cookies or cupcakes <laughs> or things like that. There is a fridge, an oven, and a stove and students are free to use these as they please. There's also a little dining area behind you. It, it has some stuff on it for storage right now, as well as recycling bins. Um, that's a big initiative at, here at the University of Arkansas in our residence halls. We wanna recycle as much as possible. And then over here, here's the front desk for founders. Um, this is where you can find RAs um, working their duty hours and desk hours. We actually have a, a coordinator for residence education. And here's our CRE, Eric. Hello. Do you want to talk a little bit about your job and what you do? Um, so we're the living professionals for the for the health, for, for the community. Um, we oversee the RAs. We help the RAs with a bunch of with their programming initiatives, their community building on the floor, um, and then we also oversee just the general well-being of the building, making sure that uh, if there's any issues that the RAs can't help with, then we're here to help out with those situations too. And what are RAs, just in case? Uh, so an RA is a student staff member who, who's a, at least a sophomore. Um, they've all lived on campus, either here or at a different university if they transferred in. 
Um, so they understand how it is to live on campus um, and they try to help out, support the floors, support individuals in any situation that might arise. They're pretty well trained on all of that stuff. Awesome. Good. Well, thank you. So one of the best additions to Founders Hall is this just kind of communal area um, in the front. You'll always find people watching games on the TV or playing ping pong. You can check out ping pong equipment from the front desk if you and your friends would like to play. Um, there's also a university-wide ping pong tournament the spring semester, um, and the residence halls have qualifying tournaments to kind of pick who will represent them in the university-wide um, tournament. So you're free to bring your own ping pong supplies if you'd like to play whenever, but when the desk is open, you can rent um, ping pong supplies. What's your ping pong them. game like? You My ping pong game got better uh -huh. since I started college because that's what I spent all of freshman year doing. <laughs> Um, but I still lose often, could never win in a tournament. Um, but I've gotten to watch the tournament and it was really fun. People are very talented. So we have a viewer named James who wants to know when um, students will know who their RA is going to be. Um, so RAs have been chosen. They're still getting sorted by halls. So by the time you move here, they should be up on the housing website so you'll know. Yes. Who are the RAs going to be for specific calls? Also, when you move in, you'll have a floor meeting with your RAs, um, and they'll introduce themselves and give you contact information and explain a little bit about what their job is and um, how they can be a resource to you. I love my RA. He became, he became one of my really good friends, actually. He <laughs> would always hang out in the common areas and watch basketball and baseball games with us. Uh, so that was really nice. So we'll walk mail is something we want to talk about too. The, yes. the mail system. Eric, how does mail work at Founders? Um, so all of your packages and mail will be delivered to Humphreys. Humphreys. So we pick up mail at Humphreys. Yeah, yeah, Terror. Um, so you'll receive, well, if your email comes in, or sorry, if you get a piece of mail that's just like a gener generic letter or whatever, um, that'll just go into your mailbox. You'll be able to find that stuff, um, your email address, or not your email address, boy. Your mailbox and your um, code combination for it will all be in your UA Connect um, mm -hmm. portal. Um, if you get a package, um, this is my first year over here at Founders, so I'm trying to remember how Humphreys does it, but um, if you get a package, typically you'll receive an, well, yeah. you will receive, you will receive an email, email. Mm -hmm. from um, Tara, well, we'll say University yes. Housing, but our, our administrative assistant name is, is Tara. Um, and then you can go pick up your package. Go pick it up, yeah. simple as that. Wait for your email though, wait for that email to come. Even though it says, tra your tracking says it's been delivered, wait for that email because there's some processes that we have to do on our side um, to sort of make sure that they're on campus. So if you see it says it showed up, but it may not be yet processed. Right, so. right, okay. Well, there's a big common area, so let's go check out the rest of this common. Yeah. We also have a viewer named Scott who is wondering if boys and girls have um, rooms on the same floor? Uh, they do not in Founders. I believe it's split up by floor. If it's not split up by floor, then they're certainly split up by like side of the floor. Right. So there is always some level of separation. Okay. Okay, so we got the common area here, and then I guess we have the. Uh, Ping pong table. Yeah, there's some construction paper stuff going on there. <laughs> some arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the few halls where they use digital signage. So you'll see large televisions where digital signage happens. Yes, and one cool feature um, at our residence halls is the water bottle filling station. Um, it's just in the sustainability initiative, and you can actually track how many bottles, plastic bottles mm -hmm. people have saved just by refilling reusable bottles here. It's a lot. 36,000 and cool. so that's a really good feature um, it saves money as well you don't have to keep buying bottles of water um, we can go ahead and go in the laundry room and talk a little bit about that so in this laundry room there are also vending machines um, and the vending machines actually use card swipes or Apple pay so if you have an Apple device you can just swipe it in front of the vending machine and pay for your snack or drink um, there's also ice machine, you can get ice for free. And here at the university, you don't have to pay to use a washer or dryer. 
those costs are included in your student fees. However, you do need to bring your own detergent. And also, one cool feature here is it's called Laundry Alert. And there's an app you can download, and it'll just have laundry information, so how long your load has left, what step in the process is it at. It'll also alert you whenever your laundry is ready to be picked up. And so it's definitely a good idea to kind of figure it out in the beginning when the best time to do laundry is. Because um, as you can believe, a lot of people will be wanting to do laundry at once. Um, so maybe in an afternoon, a weekday afternoon is a good time. That's when I always did mine. Uh, just so I wouldn't have to wait for a washer or dryer to open up. Are you a pods man? Or a... I'm a pods man, yes. <laughs> Not for eating, of course. No, no, don't eat Tide Pods. <laughs> However, it's a lot easier to just have the detergent amount pre-decided so you can just put it in there. I did some laundry at home before I moved to college, but my roommate freshman year actually had to learn that whole process. So it's kind of fun to watch people do laundry for the first time. <laughs> um, but I am a pods man still to this day. I'll just throw the pot in there and I don't have to worry about pouring detergent. Are you a separator? I do not separate. Okay, I wash so everything at once. Right, right. That's too advanced, definitely. <laughs> and I'll just do the normal wash cycle. You won't catch me doing anything special. Um, so yeah, this is the laundry room. We have a question about mail actually, and it's when they can get things mailed to the dorm. So I'm Sure, she wants to know, like, schedule-wise, when they can get mail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the first day that you could receive mail, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. well, um, well, maybe she'll chime in or he'll chime in and say a little more specific. Um, you know, in general, you can receive mail any time of the year except around the breaks. I think sometimes we have a, a published time where we're not accepting mail anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to follow up with you uh, if you're with your question at the end of this about uh, the exact answer you need when it comes to mail. I do know you can pick up, um, if it's a mailbox, you can pick up your mail um, just whenever you can get over to that mailbox during business hours, because um, then the front desk area will be open, and also packages. Um, so it's around 8 to 4.30, I believe, when you can pick up your packages just because that front desk will be staffed. So we're gonna walk this way and look at this multi-purpose room over here. So one cool thing about this area is it's open 24 hours um, for group study or private study sessions. Um, it's a really cool feature that Founders has. Um, you can basically use it for meetings or anything like that. Um, I personally used it for some meetings before in this hall and it just comes in, in handy to have a space like that that's open to everyone. Mm -hmm. so as long as we're passing through here, we'll just call out uh, Eric's office. Is that your office, Eric? Right there? Okay. So if you have an issue, come knock on your door. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Should be open. Yeah. You got an avocado on there. I do. Lots of cool door decks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to walk this way. Do you want to go ahead and head upstairs? Sure. Let's head upstairs to the floors and see one of the residence halls in the bathroom. It's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> so at Founders, there's two elevators. There's one down here. And there's also one at this end of the hallway, mm -hmm. as well as two sets of stairs. Awesome. And Scott asked if we're on the first floor, and we are, we yes. Are. We are on the first floor. Headed to the second. And we're going to head up to two to check out our room. Here's the elevator. It's a really <laughs> nice elevator, actually. It's pretty spacious, actually. I'm yes. super claustrophobic, I hate it. <laughs> this one's pretty big, yeah. <laughs> Should we start bathroom? Yeah, we'll go ahead and start in the bathroom. Here's just another water bottle filling station. Um, it's on each floor, so that's really convenient. So we're gonna go ahead and walk and look at a restroom. Founders might have my favorite bathrooms on campus just because of how nice they look. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and out. Yeah. So here is the Founders restroom. Here's your sink area. The stalls are behind us, and then here are showers. So each shower will have a door um, that you can lock. It's a more personal space where you can change a little bit. Feel free to go ahead and step in there. I know a lot of times they were very curious about, you know, the features. Do you bring shower shoes? Yes, 
I did bring shower shoes. Did you have shower shoes, Courtney? I absolutely had shower shoes. What are shower shoes exactly? Um, well, if you want me to be honest with you, I go to Old Navy and get my favorite color, cheap pair of flip flops, and uh -huh. those are my shower shoes. That's that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Super nice bathrooms in here. I like how the doors on the showers are really modern. Mm -hmm. Very cute. All right. Walk this way. Can you point out the study area? Sure, yeah. So on each floor, there's two study spaces um, that are open to anyone to use. Um, there's also a television up there. Um, so when football games are on and things like that, people will be watching. Um, so it's a really good space to relax. On the weekends, it's really quiet. A nice place to write a paper and things like that. What was that, Eric? Pretty sure there's a person with words. Okay, wall. Oh, I do remember oh this. My gosh, so this awesome. this paint on this wall can actually be used as a whiteboard, and you can erase off of it. You can still see a little bit of marker. That's pretty oh, awesome. Yeah. If you're studying with a big group, you can write things on the board. Yeah, nice little view too out mm -hmm. toward uh, Kemple Hall, right there. This looks like a great place to take a nap. Oh yeah, honest. I was thinking the same thing. I like the window chairs. Very cool. All right. Walk this way. Next, we're going to just check out your standard room in Founders Hall, going to 210. And there is a type of room we should definitely mention, and that's called the gable. And that's a room where one of the beds, the wall comes in slightly. And it's explained on our website. There's a PDF that explains what a gable room is. If you have further questions about it or which rooms are gables, the keys. we're happy to uh, explain that to you. Yeah. Is there any in there already open? Mm -hmm. They all got closed. Um, so in keys. Founders, the doors <laughs> do lock behind you automatically, so always keep your keys on hand. You just found it right away in that big mess of keys. You found <laughs> it. I have experience. That's, that's, that is experience <laughs> talking right there. Okay, it's a little dark in here, but a little light kind of a little stronger. Or is it right here as well? Yeah, there we go. So each each room has personal sink space and a large mirror like this. It's actually a pretty big space with the um, drawers that you and your roommate can use to store things. Behind us as well, there's wardrobes. You can move the furniture around if you would like. Um, we do ask you don't take any out, but you can move it um, to your discretion. And it also has towel racks on each door um, where you can hang your wet towels after you're finished or th and things like that. Here's a desk. And each desk comes with a chair as well as a nice drawer that you can lock if you choose to lock. You do have to bring your own lock, however. <laughs> Here are the beds. You can ask your, request your bed to be lofted before you move in. Um, the deadline for that is July 31st, and it's first come, first served, so there's no guarantees. Um, but you can do that at housing.uark.edu slash fixit. Um, um, we have a question, what's the width of the bed frame? Like, so from post to post is what she wants. From post to post, I believe it's 80 inches. So the mattress is gonna be probably 80 inches, but did you, you have the tape measure? Yes, I, I think she wants she went, this uh, way oh, for like yeah. a, a headboard type of thing. Mm -hmm. So post to post up here, basically. Yeah. And then we're also asking for measurements of the desk and the area between the beds for a carpet. So it is 41 inches from post to post. It's a little bit over three feet. And then we're going to measure the desk, you said? Yes. Let's go ahead and measure the mattress too, just sure. to confirm. And give us a uh, length. So the length is 80 inches, and the width, and then the width is 36. Mm -hmm. It's 36 inches, so it's 80 inches long, about three feet wide, um, and then we'll go ahead and measure the desk. So the desk is just over 32 inches long and about 
24 and a half inches wide. The um, room, what, what's the question? Sorry, we had a, um, someone ask what the height of the bed is as it is right yeah, now. Yeah, sure. So I'm guessing just from the floor to the bed. It is 40 inches off the ground. Go ahead and give them also um, the, the mattress frame to the floor. So, right here? Yeah, because you can set those at different levels. But where it is right now, this is just over 30 inches off the ground. Mm -hmm. um, but you can move the beds yourself if you would like a little up or a little down. There's just notches in these posts. And so you'll just lift the frame out and then lock it in place. We do ask if you're going to do that, bring a rubber mallet. It just makes it a little easier. Those are really cheap to buy. Um, someone wants to know what the measurement is from the top of the counter underneath for a mini fridge. Like right here, down? Yes, that sure. space under there. So this is about 30 inches um, from the bottom of this counter to the floor. There are outlets under there too. Yeah, we had a question about how many outlets there were in the room actually. Okay. So there's, so there's two, two right there. here. There's, there's two down here. There's four here. I don't know if there's any more back behind here, but and there's four over here. And we do And then there are some next to each bed. Lots of outlets. That's always good. And here's how many. How many do we total up? Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. About eight. Here. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. It looks like. Oh, That's maybe awesome. sixteen with those. People have a lot of devices. Yeah. Well, there's like. Four here. Four. Four. Eight. Four. Twelve. Four. And then there's also the cable box is over here. Um, the university does include HBO to your cable subscription. So Game that's kind of fun. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I do not watch HBO, unfortunately. I don't have an account. Um, I might have to get it because I really want to watch Game of Thrones. Um, there's also a uh, Here's your thermostat over here where you control the yeah, heating. We had a question before about in Gibson about the controls, so yeah. I'm going to show that off a little bit. So to change the temperature, there's the reading, and you'll just twist this knob. Um, you twist it left to go negative, right to go positive, and here's your fan speed. Awesome. And then we do want someone that wants to know the measurement in between the beds for a rug. Okay. So like this, in between these? Yes. Okay, yeah. I might need some help with this one. But mind you, that changes with the layout of the room. Right. So not every room is going to be exactly the same. But you're or if you change it. You measure it from the inside or outside? Let's do that. So outside. So it's about 52 inches. Um, between these two beds. Between right? the two beds. As this layout. As this layout is. Some of the layouts will change or be different. But this is a fairly typical layout. Yeah, if, but if you do change the, if you do decide to change the layout because you can move this furniture around or you can put stuff underneath like that will mm -hmm. turn bed sideways or whatever, that will change. And I guess it's easier to explain now what a gabled room is. Yes. And a gabled room, well you, you can explain it. So basically the gabled room will just have a, the wall will slant down um, a little bit over the bed. So it'll touch it'll touch this top of this post. Um, and it's just, a, it's just instead of having a flat ceiling up there, it'll just be slanted a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the difference between a gabled room and our standard room. Could we measure the width of the window for Emily? Because she wants to know how long a curtain rod needs to be. Sure. Where are you from? Where are you guys from? Let us know. I'm from Fayetteville. <laughs> I already told you guys that, but I love it here. Couldn't leave. Any tips and tricks for someone moving to Fayetteville from some place like uh, El Dorado, where I'm from, or um, uh, from Texas? Bring a coat. Okay. Definitely bring a coat because it gets pretty chilly and you gotta walk to class. <laughs> so the window's about just around 37 inches wide um, from the insides where you would hang a curtain rod. Awesome. And these blinds, you can adjust the blinds if you would like to open them or close them. Um, Kelly wants to know if there's an internet port. But there should be one right over here um, behind this desk. There's an internet port. 
as well as there's Wi-Fi available. Um, right above us is the Wi-Fi actually. We have Wi-Fi in all the halls now. So you don't have to connect by Ethernet, but some halls have it. It looks like this hall does have an Ethernet connection. Um, but our, our Wi-Fi in the halls is pretty reliable. It so is. So it's good stuff. We've got a lot of Texas viewers on here. Okay, nice. <laughs> yep, Kansas City, Germantown. It's pretty nice. awesome. Yeah, all over. Glad to have it. Glad That's to have right. you in. So we had someone ask which side of the room is A and B. But, because I know when you get assigned a room, you do get assigned A or B, but you can, of course, choose which side with your roommate. You can discuss that when you get in here. Yeah. Is there a designated A and B? I don't think there is. There's not a designated A and B. A and B are basically the slots we have administratively, but they does, it's not like the left-hand side is A and the right-hand side is B. Right. It's something that roommates agree upon themselves. Awesome. I think that's right. Yeah, there's not, there's not a designated so sometimes you'll have like A is a certain length and B is a certain length. Mm -hmm. That's for roommates to make that decision themselves. Okay. Let's see, what else can we show you in this room more? Are there other questions? Can a fridge be placed elsewhere in the room other than under the sink? You can place a fridge wherever you would like. Um, it's up to you. Uh, you can add furniture if you would like. You just can't take any out. Um, one nice thing about Founders is on each floor there's also a trash chute. Um, inside of a trash room that includes recycling bins um, and you can just open the chute up and put your trash bag in there and it'll go straight down to the dumpster so you don't have to carry it up and downstairs. Um, so that's really nice. It's very convenient. Yeah. All right, well, um, uh, Eric, can, uh, do you guys want to say, uh, say goodbye to everyone? Sure. <laughs> yeah. There's Eric. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll be here in the uh, fall with, or in a, about a month when you start yeah. showing sure up. So. <laughs> It'll be good to see you all. Yeah, we look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you for joining us today at this UR Home Facebook Live Tour of Founders Hall.